Hey, next thing we're going to do is we have some links that we need to make. The other few days you should have had lots of practice with Moxie, so this won't take you very long at all. We're going to make some hot spots on these social media buttons. We're going to make internal links on our navigation bar down here, and we're going to have an email link for contact us. So let's start with our hotspots. Click on your banner. The only way you're going to get that hotspot tool is if you're clicked on a picture. And then down here at the bottom is your three choices for sizes. Hey, these are still squares, so you probably wouldn't want to choose anything else. I'm going to drag myself a little turquoise hotspot, and I'm going to have it be the exact same size, if not as close to, as my little Facebook button here. And I always hit OK on that. And then I am going to make my hotspots external links. So they're going to take me to Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. So when you type these external links, you got to type the whole shebang. HTTP colon slash slash www.facebook.com. So if you need to, pause the video, but you're going to get this whole thing. And then if I come back and click on it, it should stay. So that's our external link. Go back into the same thing, drag a hotspot over Instagram, connect it to Instagram, drag a hotspot over Twitter, and do the exact same thing. I'm just going to work my way through this. If you want, you can fast forward onto the internal links if you're good. So I'm dragging my hotspot over Instagram. And I type my website. www.instagram.com And one more. Twitter. HTTP colon slash slash www.twitter.com There we go. And if I come back with my black arrow and click on these hotspots, each one should be different. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make some internal links. But what you're going to notice is you don't have a home page or a discover, well you have a home page, a discover and explore, eat, about, or contact. So what I would like for you to do right now is create those HTML pages over here. So new file you're going to call it discover.html. Don't delete that .html. And then keep doing that for all of them. Explore. Eat. I'm hungry. I want to eat right now. About. And last but not least, the contact. These pages are blank. What we're going to do is when we're all said and done and we're happy with this, we're going to save this home page on top of all these other pages and then boom, we've got the exact same table layout and links and colors happening on all of our pages. After that, go ahead and come in here and highlight each word individually and connect it, link it to the page that it corresponds with. Now, I don't know about you, but my favorite way to link text is after I highlight it, and I find my link panel down here, my little link box. I love just being able to point to my page. Point to home. When you click away, it should look like an external link or an internal link. Highlight discover. Point to discover. Highlight explore. Point to explore. Eat. Point to eat. About. Might as well point it to about. And last but not least, contact. Point, whoop, I missed it. Point to contact. Ah, come here. There we go. Internal links created. Let's do a little save if you haven't saved in a while. Next, let's create an email link 
over the entire contact us today. Now you could come down here and type it, but you still have to remember to type that mail to colon and then your email address. So it's just easier to highlight it. Come up to your insert panel and insert an email link. Hey, it's already highlighted for you. You just have to come up with an email address. Now mine's just defaulting to the last one I used. We're going to use info at jurassicjakes.com for our email. So don't have to change this top one. Create an email link on the bottom for info at jurassicjakes.com. And once you hit OK, it should stay highlighted. And hey, look at right there. It added that mail to colon for you. Same thing happens here, guys. If you forget it, it just tries to take you to somewhere in the internet that doesn't exist.